my number one role is I'm an advocate. I advocate for these kids here. I'm their voice, I speak up for them. I'm also an advocate for our parents. Something I'm, I'm really passionate about and it's my own personal philosophy that I use when I'm serving kids because that's really what I do. I serve kids. That's my role. That's what a community coordinator is. We serve kids in all levels of educational needs, social needs, and mental needs. My motto is this, every kid needs to know that they are seen, heard, acknowledged, and loved. And there's another side to that. Every parent needs to know that they are seen, heard, acknowledged, and loved. It's, it's so important to let people know that they matter. They matter from the moment they come on campus to the time they leave. And for me, they matter when I see them at sporting events where my own kids are at. If you want to stay in your box, a community school is not for you. If you want to come in and stay in your classroom and do your 8 to 3.30, rad, serve kids in your classroom, but you're not built for a community school. You have to be willing to step out of your box, step out of your classroom door and say, here I am and where do I have to serve? I wake up every day with a purpose. I wake up every day and say, I'm going to serve kids to the best of my ability, regardless of how I feel. I'm a wife and mom. I have a busy life. I'm in college. My husband's in grad school. We are crazy busy. But tell me a family that isn't. A community coordinator has to form a bond and a trust within the community. It doesn't look like the same for everybody, but I see my purpose when I walk through the door to say, you matter to Mrs. Espinosa. We coordinate activities and like events. That's fun, I, I love that. We have dances and we have spirit days and, and rallies and we dress up. But we're to be the advocate. We're to see kids where they are in life. And we don't put expectations on them. And we don't say you should be here because your classmates are here. We say, you are where you need to be right now. Give me your best. That's what a rural community school coordinator does. We look for the silver linings and we don't give up.